It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Margaret needs to rest. She's running herself into the ground because of those damned renegades. Okay, I understand. But this really is an emergency. Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well... Perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao.
Luan? There's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. Ah, a list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck.
Ah, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So he's still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Don't but I off. intend to pick it up Fine. again. Doesn't matter. Not a bad idea, actually. Why not? That's what I'm thinking. After all, why not? I just don't know if I have enough time. snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled the year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present.
You're right. Better don't mix work and romance. Bad outcomes. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? And why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. So, I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center, while the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever, and half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates, and the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. It's been a stalemate for over ten years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed and the Renegades attack the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing he's half the battle, kiddo. Hey, enjoy your company, but I'll need you to go now. citizen.
My name's Aiden. I just want to talk. Leto and her king, 
Kurt. Like a beetle, ignorant of the foot above. Yeah, I got a job for you. And I got a surprise for you. I hope you like this room. Because it will be your final resting place. Hey! Oh, great. Hmm, the cables. I've got to find a source of power.
I have a job for you. Come on, man.
I need your help! You broke into my home. You killed Leto. What else do you want? me, you nutcase! Why must you bother me? Leave me alone, you hear? Yeah. <clears throat> 
found it. Kill me. Just tell my son I died like a warrior. What are you talking about? Kill me. She sent you to do it, so do it. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I, I have a job for you. What? So you're not an assassin? No, I just came to talk. You're an engineer, right? I have a name. Kurt. What do you want? So, um, who's this woman who wants to kill you? Vagina Dentata. 
A vagina with fangs. With what? A major bitch who wants my balls on a platter. That good enough for you? I see. Maybe I can help. You don't know what you'd be up against. I handled that monster down there. Leto! She was just a poodle with a speaker by comparison. Who are you really? I'm a pearl cast before swine. I'm a king without a kingdom. I am tragedy made flesh. Right. You mentioned you had a son? Like everything else, taken away from me. I know how that feels. Spit in any street in this city and you'll hit somebody who lost a loved one. Okay. What was it that you wanted again? I need to plant this bug on a radio transmitter, but it needs to be fixed. I'll make it worth your while. <sighs> Impossible without a few parts. What parts? Uh, the wiring is corroded. You can find replacements in the North Tower. The army left their gear there. How will I find it? It would be protected from the elements, so look for a box below the antenna. All right, fine. And uh, what's your price? Let's leave that for later. As a surprise. I really don't like surprises. <laughs> Good luck. What is this place anyway? The biggest church in the country. It was believed that a god lived inside. But I've been sitting here for almost ten years, and haven't met one yet.
You have it? Good. <sighs> Wait a moment. You did it. Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so what's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. Wait, what? I'm a programmer. In a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is... I did it for your friendship. Oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored. I guess. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you. One, success. Kurt fixed the bug. I knew you could handle it. But you totally undersold how unreal this guy is. I told you he was just this side of batshit. That's why I don't like being alone. Don't want that to happen to me. What now? Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. Jack Matt deals with these damn renegades. Don't want my name ending up in some memorial down in the streets. This war with the renegades makes no sense. Infected are the true enemy. Fixed. Shh. Keep it down. Sometimes the walls have ears. Do you know what this is, Aiden? Looks like uh, uh, pellets, buckshot. Oh. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Beluga, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Considered to be the only true caviar in the world. Dissolves on your tongue, letting you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. They kill for the future and they forget the present. They? The major mats of the world. Please, join me. I've taken care of the UV lamps. Has Matt confided to you why he needs lamps in a place with no electricity yet? And how he's going to carry out this suicide mission? That's what I thought. Contact him. 
Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready and waiting for you. Go there, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Juan? Nah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger that as you can see jack likes to give orders stay close to your radio you'll be informed of the meeting shortly i'll be in touch move along citizen Die, Bitch. 